Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna do like a get ready with me and also do a review of ET1 class, which you guys have said yes, you wanna hear a detailed spoiler review from me. And I thought, you know, why not just continue this whole get ready with me series. So I guess it's like, Every time I finish a drama, I'll probably do like a get ready with me as well. And I decided to do a little bit more different with another theme. I'm gonna do like a, maybe like an orangey makeup, like a springtime, springtime look. Even though we are leaning towards winter, we are in autumn now. So I guess orange, you can have it in autumn as well. But anyway, orange look. So I have my products behind here because I don't really have new products. So I decided to bring out products that I haven't used for a really long time or products I bought and I still actually haven't tried. So the first one would be this primer here which is by Skin Food and this is the Moisture Lustrous Finish Primer and it just looks like this so it has like honey propolis inside as well so it's like a droplet which looks really cool so I just don't understand why I didn't use it at all but I feel like this amounts actually a lot so I'm just going to put a little bit first. It feels really watery. It does not smell like honey or anything, but yeah, it feels very watery. So with ET1, we're going to jump straight to it. Um, with the plot, I'm sure some of you guys have already watched. But if you guys haven't watched it, basically it revolves this one main guy called Pak Seroi, which I thought was such a unique name because has like three words seroi usually like i think with korean it only has like two words for their name but this one's seroi like it anyway it rhymes so it is based on him and the time span for this video like i uh, know this video this drama is like 15 years so this is like backtracking to him when he was in high school and so he um basically he became like the dropout student who got kicked out of school because he was defending this guy who got bullied by a guy called Jung Won. Cha Jung Won. I think that's how you yeah. Cha no Cha Gun Won. Ignore my Korean, you know, but I'll just put the name down here so you guys can see who I'm talking about and stuff. And basically he was the bully at school and through watching the drama you know why he became the bully but basically he's the son of a really rich guy company food industry company who Park Seroi's dad worked under for as well and so that guy got you know Park Seroi expelled and then things just you know just got bad straight after that things didn't get better but let's pause that for now because we're gonna put the foundation which will take me ages and I haven't used this for a long time but this is an oldie but a goodie this is too cool for school Art Class Studio the Tain Liquid Air in the shade number 4 set I still love this over the cushion version I'm pretty sure they have a cushion version and then I'm going to use this Juno and Co microfiber cushion which was given to by my friend Judy thank you and apparently this is really good and obviously it's made of microfiber so I don't know if you guys can see the texture but it feels quite funny on the hand but Apparently it's supposed to be better than the Beauty Blender and supposed to absorb way more than a Beauty Blender when you put it on your skin. So I need to find my mirror and then I'll continue. So back to the story plot. So then um, fast forward just a tiny bit and then Park So Your Dad um, quit the job as well and then um, they started you know spending time together trying to open a pub and then one day um, Park Seo-yi's dad got into a car accident which was obviously caused by Good One. And so when Park Seo-yi found out, he decided to go and bash or like, not really nearly killed but he was stopped but he almost nearly killed Good One and then he got sent to um, prison. And so Park Seo-yi had to spend time in prison for five years because of what he did. He obviously didn't kill um, Gun Won, but he obviously had to still um, do his time in prison and that got him thinking and so you know this is what I call like he once he got out he seek revenge but the way he seek revenge it's so different from what a normal not normal person what a usual drama person would do he has no intention of killing Gun Won or anything but 
what he is doing is he's trying to achieve his goal by the way i'm trying to use this blender dry because apparently you can use it dry and i want to see what it's like because the foundation this one is very moisturizing and i don't want to put um i don't want to put like wet stuff over it as well it's going really well anyway um so his goal is to be to open up a pub and be the best in the korea food industry so his goal is to have this between I think yeah that 10 year period so each year he has like a goal in mind and this is how he would seek his revenge to be the best and beat Janka company which is what Gumwon and his dad own so yeah so this story plot just based on that and you see you know the failure that um, Park Seori has to go through the tough life that he has to go through to earn that money to open up pub you know he has to after he got out of prison he has to do um like labor work at like a boat and he was there for a while as well um to earn money but obviously he got some money from his dad as well when the dad passed away which he obviously put into the share companies for Janga and that worked out well because he was able to earn a little bit of money as well so i feel like using this dry and applying the foundation gives like a I think a weird finish so I think I'm gonna wet this a little bit I'll be back but this something really silly which I didn't realize to like 10 minutes of filming the video I actually didn't end up continuing after I told you guys I'm gonna wet my blender and I've already put my brows on so with the blender you have to probably wet it and actually blend it out so my foundation still look very a little bit uneven today but We'll just leave it and continue but basically if you want to apply the foundation with the blender definitely um, wet this um, blender and then the eyebrow pencil i've decided to use is this etude house drawing eyebrow pencil in number one dark brown which is actually very pigmented it's very easy to apply but definitely don't apply very um roughly or like with a hard grip I actually do it very softly because it's very very pigmented we're gonna play with this eyeshadow palette here and this is by nature republic pro touch color masters shadow palette and this is the spring edition which i feel like it's so right for this video um i think i will probably play with all this brightest colors here rather than the ones that I usually go for so I'm gonna play around with this talking about the part where he um, was doing like um, shears and stuff and obviously that helped him to open up Dunbum and invest in Dunbum as well but basically with this story he's so goal driven it's so great to see this drama is great for those who want to achieve something in life with their goal and you can see with patience with persistence with um, waiting and just going through all the rough and tumble in life like he did and people blackmailing him and him feeling in some stuff and dumb bum not going well like at the end of the day 15 years later it was worth it he became number one best he even bought Janga which is crazy and yeah it just shows you that if you want to set something in life you can achieve it if you are driven to it I use this pink color first to apply on my crease so as I was saying, we're gonna start talking about the characters now and I like in this drama that they are so like the characters are very very diverse and what I mean by diverse is that all these characters in here are all different to each other you have one who is very goal driven you have one who is also very more motivated but she's a little bit like a sociopath you have one who is like obviously the um, could be the potential here of the Janka company and then you have one who is like a transgender this color is not going well in my eyes at all just saying let's focus with Park Seori first and can we just talk about his haircut it's just when I first saw it I was like oh my god it looks so different but FYI after this drama he has decided to turn his bowl cut hair into like a pineapple hair so I'll put it here for you guys to see but basically with Park Seori he is so goal driven he sticks to his principle he is very ambitious very motivated and he has this like poker face as well like he doesn't smile as often compared to like what's wrong with Secretary Kim which he was previously shown in before this drama like completely different different character this color did not go well on my crease but we're just going to continue I'll probably start using 
um, this dark orange first on my eye. I just like how serious he is and sometimes in this show you feel like he's acting like a dummy but he's actually not dumb. He's a, actually a very very smart guy for a guy who has not obviously finished education and you can just see that he is very very intel intelligent and again he sticks to his principle and he is very very committed to his team he trusts his team a lot even though some people are like no you don't do that to them blah 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 you can't be with them anymore but he's like you know what my team follows me wherever i go and it's just great to see that and obviously the team feels like they are on the same track as him as well and they all just feel connected and they became like one nice small family as well which is great to see there's no there's no blood between them there's no um fight there's no drama between them at all which is great and so we're gonna go to the next character who is called iso iso um which is played by kim dummy and she is obviously a social media influencer and she decided to um help Park Seori become the manager because she is interested in Park Seori and it's funny because before that she wasn't interested in him at all and was like find him annoying because he was butting into her business but the more she gets to know her she was like you know what this guy is actually not too bad this guy actually have no interest in me but you know what I am actually interested in him and I want him for myself and she's the type of person like when she wants something she goes for it and the reason why she's like that is because she's obviously quite arrogant and she does get things her way most of the time but with Park Seori, it is not the same and I think that just drives her more into him um, we're gonna go the next one down which is this color here I'm actually don't know what I'm doing I'm just playing with the colors and I guess this is the whole point of the video and so she decided to make herself be the manager of you know Dum Bum and she's like you know what I'm a social media influencer I know what I'm doing you need me in your life to make you achieve your goal and the more she gets to know him the more she falls in love with him and she always want to try her best to um make sure that he can achieve this goal and it's great to see that a lot of people don't like her character because they find her really annoying but I feel like the more I watch her I can see that she's so committed to him she's so in love with him she would do anything for him which obviously is true because she did do anything for him she even got kidnapped which is crazy but yeah and at the end of the day I guess it was worth it because he ended up falling in love with um, her um, I'm not so sure about this color but I'm just gonna keep going. I feel like the colors somehow just all like blend together. Um, the next character is Sua, which is you know involved in that love triangle between Park Seori, Sua, and Iso. And so Sua was Park Seori's childhood crush, and he promised her that when he you know um became the most successful guy he is going to make sure that she resigned from Jiangako. But if you guys watch the drama, you would know that that did not happen and he ended up falling in love with Iso which is a little bit heartbreaking but in that drama which is very buzzy and you, it just makes you feel like she wasn't really into um, Park Seori with the way that she was treating him she didn't show like she had much interest in him when I was watching that show but at the end of the drama you see that she actually was she did love him and she was doing a lot of things behind the scene for him to ruin Janga, which is a little bit heartbreaking at the end but it is what it is right which is quite sad but yeah i'm um, gonna go probably this dark brown first and then maybe that dark brown no actually i might go with this i don't know i might go with this one first this burgundy red color um for the outer part I actually honestly don't know what I'm doing so um, yeah and then so the reason why she ended up working with Janga Co is because she received a scholarship from the Janga owner itself and so she started working for him and that's how she set herself into um, Janga Ko and Gunwon actually fell in love with her as well which we actually didn't talk about Gunwon so let's talk about Gunwon first and Gunwon his character is obviously you know the bully and he 
obviously is one of the main character because things do revolve around him. He was the one that actually killed Park Seo-ri's dad, which is really really sad to see. Um, and I, I partly myself feel a little bit sorry for him because, because of his the way he grew up. I mean, obviously we can't blame that or justify that for what he is, but. The way he grew up, there was no love in there. He loved his father a lot, but the father didn't show any love. And he does all this badass thing because he wants to show the father that he loves the father, you know? But obviously the father doesn't really see that, he doesn't really care. Anyway, it just got to a point where he just messed up his whole life and obviously going to prison the first time didn't do anything to him and obviously I'm pretty sure he's back in prison again but yeah it's, that's how his character was perceived as and this little side fact I didn't know that he was from um what is it called oh my god I'm having brain freeze he was from um Descendant of the Sun and um I also found out that he has a YouTube channel so I've been watching that a lot and his character obviously is so different from um this drama itself but yeah, I do feel a little bit of sympathetic to him as well, but obviously he is the baddie in the drama. Alright, now I am going to go to the other character called Hyoni, who is, um, she is like the transgender in the drama. And when I first watched it, I didn't realize that because I thought she was a girl anyway. And But in that drama, she was supposed to be transitioning from man to woman. And so it, this I like this character because it... This could be something happening in Korea right now in real life and people are not accepting transgender people potentially. Um, I'm not sure but it talks about this and that issue in the drama and when she entered the um, cooking contest, you know, she got a lot of criticism but you know what, because of you know what guys, I totally screw up. I decided to use this dark brown this, instead of this burgundy for this eye. <sighs> she stood up for what she believes in and then she said, yep, I am a transgender in this TV show and people do accept it and they didn't really criticize her anymore. So it was great to see that. Um, she, oh my God, I obviously cannot multitask because this is not going well, but it's okay, I'm gonna blend this out a little bit. Looks really rough here. So yeah, next character is Choi Sung Kwan who is an ex-convert and he met Park seo when he was in prison and yeah so he was obviously a gangster and then when he got out he met up with um, Park seo again and then Park seo decided to give him a chance to actually work for him at Dampam which obviously changed his life because when he got out of prison he actually went back to the same gang and decided to do bad stuff as well but he decided to turn a new leaf around and become a good person which you can see he is very very grateful for Park Seori and stood by Park Seori's side the whole time which is great um, to see as well I'm gonna blend all this out because I feel like it is so rough because I'm not doing a great job applying this but it's okay I'm gonna probably use this dark orange here so on my fluffy brush and then just use this as a crease line. And then another character is obviously the Jungka owner called Yu J Myung. And I like his character, man. He he is very like firm, very strict and stuff. And he would do anything, anything, I mean anything, to make sure Jungka Ko is not going down the train because this is his life commitment. He was even willing to sacrifice his son, you know, like that's how crazy he was over the company itself. Jang Gunso, which is the second son of Jang Ga, who is also like the half-brother of Jang Gun Won, and he is actually from Sky Castle, which I only recently found out as well. Um, there is no sparkle orange in here, so I might go over with this pink. I might just do this pink here for the inner crease of my eye um, and he obviously is, um, he does like um, Iso and obviously Iso doesn't like him back but because of Iso he wanted to take over um, Jang Ga Ko to prove to her that you know I can achieve this come to me you know be in love with me you know but obviously that didn't work and you feel sorry for him because he had nobody in his life like he was the um, 
not an orphan but he was like the you know the unwanted one and junk and that Janga family and yeah and it's sad to see you know what he has to do in that drama but um, in the end like he feel like you know obviously Park Seo is a very good guy and yeah I like this pink color by the way even though it's very sheer but we're just gonna apply this all over my eye because why not now with this episode the first two episodes it was crazy it was mind-blowing okay guys like so many things was happening in those first two episodes and it just makes you want to see more of that and because me and my husband we were following it by episodes we had to wait like a whole week to see like the next two episodes but let me just say the first two episodes makes my husband actually say you know what this is the best drama so far in 2020 I'm like dude like we're only in the beginning of 2020 how can you say this is the best drama already by watching two episodes and then yeah so we actually really enjoyed this whole drama and yeah if you see a lot of funny side to it you see a lot of crying like sad side to it as well you see a lot of um and that episodes where you just want to get angry for Park COD. like I just love how well put the show is and obviously throughout this episode it always linked back to Park Seori's dad which is a little bit sad but he did get a closure in the end which is really nice to see as well I'm gonna fix my left eye I feel like it's a little bit munted but I'm gonna do like a I feel like this is sort of like a light makeup I might have to darken the side because this is really dark because of the other brown. Um, um, I feel like all these characters are all really well put as well, and obviously the it's it's interesting to see the love triangle and how it actually turned out as well. Like. We did not expect that he would actually go for Iso rather than um, Sua, which is obviously really, really shocking. Um, but yeah, it is what it is, right? And for me, the funny part would definitely be when he was going to kiss um, Sua and then Iso decided to like interrupt and actually stop them from kissing. And um, what was funnier after watching this drama because of the coronavirus, People are putting like meme on Facebook like of her like splitting them out. He's like, no, you can't do that because of coronavirus, which is like so bad, but it's funny at the same time. Um, another one was at the end of the drama when he bent down in front of Iso's mom, which I thought was really cute and funny because he was like so scared of her, which I thought was quite adorable. Um, there are a lot of sad part in this drama as well which I have to say because you know you see a lot of part of him crying because of his father and all the flashback with the father just makes me really sad as well because he obviously did not say goodbye to the dad but he did have a dream that he did end up saying bye to the dad which I thought was really sweet what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera and put on brown eyeliner tight line and um, fake eyelashes and I'll be back I've put my false lashes on so the eyeshadow didn't look too bad but we'll see um, if you guys are wondering what I use for my eyes I first used the love liner liquid and true brown this is a Japanese brand which I been using a lot um, love liner I love the true brown and the true black as well and then to tight line I use this BBIA Last Auto Gel Eyeliner number one called Noel. Noel. And then um, for the mascara, it's another Japanese brand. And I've used the D Up Perfect Extension Mascara, which has like fiber in it as well, which I absolutely love to um, extend some of my lashes. And then for the fake eyelashes, another Japanese brand by Shobi. And this is their Fosies which is really nice and wispy and natural looking as well so for the face we are nearly done with the face um, ignore my hair like it's not cooperating with me today like it's it's really really rough which is annoying but it's okay we'll, we'll get through this um, I'm gonna use this Etude House bronzer called face color corset number no. five and I've had this for a while and I really love this color but I feel like maybe this might be a little bit tan for me at the moment but we shall see 
So going back to the drama, um, I've pretty much sum up everything. I think I, I really do like this drama. It's very different from what I usually watch because. It talks very very little of romance. It's more like a business world where you know obviously it does have things to do with relationship but it talks about what a person would do to achieve success and how they would achieve it and the things that they have to go through and sustain the business as well. So it's it's a different side of a drama, definitely not um it's, it's definitely very different and obviously this was inspired by a webtoon so I must say that this is a very well put drama as well. Um, with the blush, I'm going to try something different. I have the 3CE Velvet Liquid Blusher with me. I got three and I'm going to do like a separate video. But I think today I'm going to go with like that because it's like a orangey one. But I'm not going to go too much detail into this because I do want to do a separate video on it. But it basically look like this. And I think it should be orangey and I'm gonna apply a decent amount on my face. Let's see. Oh, that is very pigmented. I'm gonna put five dots. I'm gonna use this blender again. I'll wash it up later. Okay, that could be a bit too much. But you know what? We're gonna go all out. We're gonna do a very orangey look today. And I'm gonna turn around. And it, it is definitely a little bit of a comedy as well because there are some funny things but most of the time I feel like this drama can be quite serious as well so yeah but I would definitely recommend to you guys if you guys haven't watched already and I mean you guys shouldn't even be watching this if you haven't watched because it's like basically complete spoiler for you guys so I'm sorry if you guys are watching this and you are shocked by all the spoilers but yeah, I really enjoy it and I would definitely re-watch this when I have time but I am watching um, Hi Bye Mama now so if you guys have watched that or is currently watching let me know I've finally caught up to it so I think probably maybe there's four more episodes before the end of the drama so I'll definitely do another episode of this so see how that goes um, this blush is actually quite pretty and I'm gonna end it with a lip tint and this one is the Innisfree one. I can't remember what this one is called but I think maybe it's called a squeeze tint. It has a few shades. I'm using number 7 because I want to see the longevity for this because I am going to do like a separate video of it as well. And again, I'm using something like pinky and orangey. Um, in regards of the OST, there's a lot of really nice soundtrack as well but my favourite Okay, definitely can't talk while using this one. Okay, I'm done with the look, so we'll continue about the soundtrack. There is a lot of nice OST to this song as well, but my favorite one would definitely be the BTS V, um, Sweet Night, and I only found out that he was the one that actually created this song, produced this song, wrote the song by himself, created the tune and everything for the show because he is good friends with um, the main character of Park Seori as well and they're actually very best of buddies and he was supporting him the whole time which I thought was really sweet but I do love that song and I only found out after listening to a second time that it was actually in full English which was crazy and then been playing with it like that song every single day since it came out but again the OST itself they are all really lovely and nice as well so yeah Overall, I would definitely recommend this drama to you guys if you guys haven't watched already. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review and let me know what you think down below. Oh, and also, did you guys notice this? That throughout this drama, every single episode, I swear, at least maybe four or five times in one episode, you would see Soul Tower in this episode. Like, it's like they're promoting Soul Tower or anything, but I've never noticed it in other drama but this one. So let me know what you guys think, whether you guys have noticed it. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below your thoughts of eating one class as well. And also put it down below what dramas you want me to watch next because after Hide by Mama, I don't know what to watch next before the Mean Home one. So let me know down below. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and give me a theme of my next makeup look as well if you guys are interested. But yeah, I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.